Today we're going to take a look at a rifle called the Designated Marksman Light from kind of a smaller boutique shop called Lone Star Armory, which is based in Texas, as you probably guessed from the name there. These guys build super high-end premium rifles with absolutely fantastic fit and finish, All right, some details of which are just you know, absolutely stunning. Everything in houses they can build uh, to include the receiver sets, uh, hand guards, bar line barrels, turned in house, all the whiz-bang features. Let's bring the camera in, we'll take a look at some of the details of this. And no, they don't usually come from the factory with Schmidt Bitter glass on them. This is a, a demo rifle that we borrowed, so it's already got glass on it. What do you get for your money? Well, when we're talking about the designated marksman light, got a Magpul PRS stock, all right, short throw safety lever, one of my favorite features comes with an AR Gold trigger, which I feel is hands down the best AR-15 trigger that there is. All right, if you look right here, some of the best fit of a receiver that I've ever seen. It's uh, crazy how tight this thing is. Let's go ahead and pop this off. And a lot of what you're buying here is the super lightning cuts that have been cut into all this. All right, you can see in a couple of places here, like on the magazine release, all right, it's still got the radius of a, of a normal mil-spec AR up here. This is how much metal's been shaved off. It's absolutely crazy. All right, even small steps like hollowing out the magazine latch. Same thing on the opposite side here. Up where the magazine release button is, all right, you can see it's still the same dimension as a, a normal AR-15. It just shows you everywhere else that things have been cut, cut away. Lone Star Armory's own bolt release, absolutely huge and hard to miss. Up to the upper receiver. Super cool radiant charging handle. This is one of those details that's hard to get from pictures and video as well. There's actually a ton of metal that's been cut away here from the uh, top of the sides of the receiver. It's almost like a tri-cut 1911 receiver, as well as a completely reworked uh, brass deflector here on the, uh, on the upper. 16-inch handguard, built in-house. I right, got a nice feel to it. It's octagonal, so it's actually got a couple of flat surfaces for your barricade shooting, that kind of thing and a medium contour, as I said, turned in-house Bart line barrel with your choice of muzzle brake. Uh, we've got a dead air on here, although they also offer Surefire and a few others. Let's take a quick look at that oversized bolt release and <laughs> how well that works. One, you can see it's actually got a receiver uh, cut in the upper receiver here, and two, absolutely ginormous. So all in all, a beautiful, stunning, well-crafted rifle. Now, I'm not going to BS you guys, the price tag is also stunning. Our test model here, without the glass, with a single Cerakote color, retails for $3,903, right, which is definitely on the higher end for some of the shoots 556. So we're going to head out to the range and see if it's worth it. All right, a couple other things about the testing protocol for this particular rifle. All right, it is built to be a designated marksman rifle. All right, that's why I came with a spit bit of glass on it. And one thing you can immediately tell, even without the bipod on, oops, take out my Accutech bipod here, all right, normally when we test ARs, we test them with an optic for accuracy, and then we test them with like a red dot for you know, your old running gun stuff. Because of the medium contour profile barrel, all right, this is front heavy, so I can tell that this would probably not be my choice for you know, a three gun or something like that. But what we're expecting from this heavier barrel with the medium contour, it was we're expecting some absolutely amazing accuracy. And with the Schmidt Bender on top, there's, a, there's no excuse for it not to. Uh, or for us to be able to get the mechanical accuracy of the gun out. So, while the price is high, let's head out to the range and see if it's worth it. Now, as you can probably guess from the fact that I'm on asphalt instead of grass, there's enough snow in the mountains that we've finally been driven to a public range. Which, in this particular context, is okay. Because, again, we're, all we're really checking with this, uh, with this type of rifle is function and accuracy, which we can do here because we can reach out to 300. So, the first thing we're going to do... Uh, also, because this is accuracy, I brought out the uh, the titans of accuracy when it comes to ammunition. We have uh, 77 grain Black Hills, 75 grain Hornady Match, 77 grain Sig, and 69 grain Sierra Gold Metal Match. So, first thing I'm going to do, have a little shoot off at 100, see which one groups the best, and then we'll reach out to uh, 300 on some paper and see if we get some decent. All right, let's do this.
All right. Boys, I went ahead and shot a five round group there, uh, even though it's on paper, but it's off by, uh, you know, about three inches for, for this particular type of ammo. But I can already tell just from our warm up shooting, this thing is gonna be incredibly accurate. Okay, now I know you don't wanna watch me shoot from the pro, so I'm gonna flip the camera off, the group with all these things, come back and see how things look. All right, so here we go, starting with the uh, SIG, then the Black Hills, then the uh, Federal Gold Medal match, and finally the Hornady match. Now, I gotta tell you guys too, I'm always honest when we talk about the mechanical accuracy of a gun. Uh, one thing, even before we start measuring, you can look at all these groups, and we're seeing them open up a little bit uh, laterally, correct? Well, that's on the shooter. Uh, up and down is breathing, typically, and side to side is heartbeat. If we're being honest, I can see a little bit of heartbeat in the scope as we're shooting. It's kinda is what it is. It's cold outside, it's on and off snowing, and uh, maybe I had too much copy today. So, I don't think we're at the mechanical accuracy point of the gun, but still, pretty impressive. That right there is a .53 center to center. .65, and again, look at that flyer that is more than likely heartbeat. If not, if we were running four round groups, good lord. Which is probably actually closer to what the gun will do and uh, somebody that didn't drink too much coffee in the morning, .31. Back down here to our Black Hill 77. 0.56, oh God, this is heartbreaking because it's all lateral. 0.88, Point, uh, yeah, 0.64. Okay, did not like the uh, gold medal match, but that's actually something that we've seen a lot of over the last couple of years. Oh, good Lord, uh, that's terrible, that's over an inch. That's about uh, 0.67. All right, moving on down to our Hornady match. 0.67 again. I'm gonna blame the uh, shooter completely here. I think I was just getting tired. All right, that's still a sub inch, it's still 0.85. And then finally, tightening things back up. Back to a 0.67. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go and get the 300 meter target, which uh, actually that probably explains some of the heartbeat too. Normally when I do actually testing, I drive the targets where they're gonna go. But because we're doing uh, a, uh, a public range today, I had to walk them down, which sucks, but it is what it is. All right, so here we are with our 300 meter group. And 2.9, so that's about, you know, MOA. This is better, this is uh, 1.8, which is just about keeping that uh, that half in the way standard. So, again, I don't think that's what the gun will do, I just think that's all that we're capable of today. But the impressive thing to me about this rifle is this did it all in sequence. I, I wasn't doing any barrel cooling or any nonsense like that. So that's like 35 accurate shots. All right, not as fast as I can pull the trigger, but you know, pretty much just getting after it with a magazine fed weapon. So to me, that is, that is very impressive. So again, Lone Star Armory, this is the designated marksman light. Uh, give them a look by all means.